There are situations that when you install or reinstall an operating system, there is not always the internet to download the necessary drivers that are missing from it. In such cases, it is very convenient to have a folder with drivers in advance on a flash drive or portable disk. Windows 11 allows you to back up the current, up-to-date drivers it has. Don't be lazy to do this once, it's always useful to have a copy. To save a copy of the drivers, I will create a separate folder for this called temp. A quick way is to press Ctrl Shift N at the same time. Next, to complete our task, we need to open PowerShell ISE in administrator mode. This can be done from the run window. We will use the export Windows driver complete. The only thing you must specify is the exact path to the folder that you created in advance. All driver unloading will be in real time and will not affect the work itself. You can copy the command itself from the link in the description. Press F5 to run the command. You should see a progress bar. In general, the procedure itself takes 30 seconds on the SSD drive. Go to the destination folder and update it. Just for fun, look how much the folder takes up on average, it was about 6. 5 gigabytes in size. Let's clear the current folder and try, in addition to unloading, to also get a complete list of drivers that we will have in the folder. To do this, use a different design. At the output, past the saved drivers in the folder, you will receive a detailed list of what they consist of. There will be the vendor, class, date of the driver and its version. I think this is very convenient. If you are interested in which drivers you can save for yourself from the system, without exporting them to a folder, I mean a list. Then you can do this with the following command, which will help you get it on the screen of the PowerShell window and save this list as a text file, where you specify. I always save such a list, along with the unloaded drivers. Now let's imagine a situation where you don't have the internet and not all devices are detected in the system. Open the device manager, find what you need in it, and through the context menu find the item, driver updates. Next, you just need to specify the location of the driver folder. Perform the installation. It's that simple, I hope it was useful and interesting. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, there will be a lot more interesting things to come.